Hello everybody and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm joined today by... Carl. Carl and... James. James and Carl, welcome to the show guys. Nice to meet you. There will be 10 categories. In each grade there will be two questions. Either person will decide which category they want. So for example, if I ask you, Carl, Me. would you like geography or history? You would say... No. Exactly. So that's... <laughs> So the way the pointing system will work, in grade one, if you answer a question correctly, you'll get 10 points. In second grade, you'll get 20 points, so on, so forth. Well, how many points do you get if you get a third grade question right? 30. Correct. And fourth grade? 47. Can I just take the prize right? Each contestant, Carl and James, will receive two lifelines. The lifelines are phone a friend and cheat. Phone a friend is what? What can you do? I can call somebody. You can for the answer. No phones at the classroom, please, though. And cheat, what can you do? Cheat off. You can cheat off him, you can cheat off him. You get two lifelines each, okay? So first we will start with James here, otherwise known as Ali. You will have the choice between two categories. Your first category is reading. Okay. Your second category is grammar. Which would you choose? What is grammar? Grammar means basically the way you spell things. Oh. Which category would you like? Reading. Reading. reading? Okay, reading will be for 10 points. I will give you the question right now. First grade reading, question is for 10 points. The classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Real Princess, is better known as The Princess and the what? Can you repeat it again? I will repeat it one more time, listen closely. The classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Real Princess, is better known as The Princess and the what? What is the missing word? Okay. Do you both have your answers? Yes. yes. I'm going to ask for one person's answer at a time. I want to see this first. It's no, up to me. It's my show. Thank you. I would like your answer first, please. Reveal it in three, two, one. Oh, cooked. Omar has went with frog. Ali, could you please reveal your answer? What does that say? <laughs> Real. Real. <laughs> I know one. There's no way. The frog? <laughs> The correct answer is P. What? What? Wait, is that? I thought it was the princess and the toad. Wait, why did I get frog? The princess. <laughs> the princess and the frog. Oh, it was a novel. Yeah, it is P. It is P. So as it stands currently, zero, zero. No one has any points. No one got the correct answer. I just got word from the studio that we were thinking about the movie, The Princess and the Frog, not to be confused with the novel and the P. So the next question will be a set in stone question. You will not have a choice between categories. Okay, you will be receiving the same question as picked by the studio and you will both have 30 seconds to answer again. Is Why that does he get it? to choose a category and I don't? because you're gonna choose the next category if that's all right in second grade. It's not. Okay, well, deal with it, brother. The question is for 10 points. This will be multiple choice. Please look at the screen behind you for the question. How long does it take for the moon to revolve around the earth? Easy. A, seven days. B, 31 days. C, 14 days. Or D, 28 days. Around the earth, correct. Hide your boards so there's no cheating here. Please don't reveal your answer before I've asked in my classroom. Four weeks detention for you. You're gonna lose points. Okay. You can lose points if I feel like it. Because guess what, Ali? It's my show. Ali, I asked you how long does it take for the moon to revolve around the earth. How long does it take? Seven days. Good. Now, Omar, how long? Times four. 28. D. The correct answer is. 28 days. Yes! Good job, Omar. Sit down, idiot! Yes! Sit, yes! Sit down. Sit down. Yes! Sit down. I'll be having none of that in my classroom, please. Behaving like farmyard yes! animals. Oh! Let's not behave like that, please. Next round, we are going to go into second grade question. Omar actually dropped out in second grade, so he should struggle with this. But you have two categories here. Omar, you can pick this category. The first one is... Grammar. The second category is, please, history. Grammar or history, which one would you like to go for? Give me Genghis. Genghis Khan, he's chose history for those who don't understand that reference. Okay. And the question is on history. Listen very carefully. True or false? Some parts of Canada 
are farther south than parts of the US. Is that a true or false statement? I'll give you 10 more seconds. Can I, can I, can I? You, could, you could use lifelines at any time. You okay. just have to call it out. Okay, okay, okay. You, both have answers. you both have answers? Yeah. Did you cheat? I did not. Say Walla, you didn't. Walla didn't cheat off me. Okay. Ali, please reveal your answer. He did it for, I did it for something. You're going again. It's my show, remember? False, false he's went with. No, no, he said flus. Flus? <laughs> no, false. False, okay. <laughs> And Omar, you went with? You went with true. So one of you are right. Let's see the answer to the question. Is that statement true or false? It is true. Omar takes another 20 points to Omar. That's 30 points to Omar. Bro, stop being a sore loser and sit down. Good job. Round of applause for Omar. Ali, please. Round of applause for him. Do I get the vote for that? That says floss. Okay, whiteboard. Next question. Come on. If Amanda has seven apples and she doubles them and gives nine away to her friends, how many apples does Amanda have? I got it. Uh, Wait, how do I spell five? Ali, that's going to be a week of detention for saying the answer out loud, okay? You've already revealed your answer when you haven't been asked, but yes, that is correct. Five, Omar. Oh, and you know what, actually? Just for, just for the ignorance, you know what I'm going to do for you? Dab me up. That's minus 10 points to you. Plus 10 points to Omar. That's right. Whoa, this is my classroom. Okay. Third grade questions. Omar, how many points do you have? 40? 40 points for Omar? Okay, let's go 40, 30, 0. Uh, what about my 20 I just got? When? Are you sure this guy's a fifth grader, bro? When did you get 20? Just now! For what? The question that we just answered. Oh, he did. He got 20, right? Okay, so Omar has 40. Ali, you have 20. Both the correct answer. We're now moving on to third grade questions. Ali, you're going to pick the subject. History. And the second choice is social studies. Social studies! Are you sure? Okay, lock in social studies, please. And the question is... The U.S. Treasury building is pictured on the back of what denomination of currency? A five, a one. On a one dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a ten dollar bill, a twenty, a fifty, a one hundred. Okay, so go ahead, give me your answers, please. Just have a guess. You ha have, have a think. Are you sure you want to go with that? Okay, he didn't give you a hint, I promise you. No, no, write, write an answer down. Did Is that what you want? No, no. Well, he didn't cheat. You got your answer? No, no. Stop giving him... I didn't give him any try. I'm fucking done! Give your answer. Sit down. Give your answer. Write the answer down. I'm not going to look. Hurry up. Okay, locked in. Omar, please reveal your answer. $10 bill. What have you wrote? And the answer is the ten dollar bill. Yes! Oh, you let him change it like five times. I let you change it like five times. You're up now. How much? Okay. Omar is on. I think that's seventy points to Omar and twenty points to Ali. Yo, You're down fifty. I would just like to say something. Yes. That I've seen this show multiple times by multiple men, mm -hmm. and the fifth grader has always outsmarted the person. But not you. This fifth grader has not done that once. And I don't even think he's a fifth grader. His answers have been totally gone. I don't even know what the, the US does. Nobody cares. Continue. Okay, okay, so second question in the third grade. This is for another 30 points, 70 points, 20 points. The question is, what is the process by which plants make their own food using sunlight? Is it A, evaporation? Is it B, hibernation? Is it C, photosynthesis? or D, migration. Extra points may be given if you spell it correctly. That's locked in from Omar. Ali, I'm just waiting for your answer, please. Okay, we're gonna go with Ali first. Please reveal your answer. I've so many It's questions. my show. Please reveal your answer. What does that say, please show? Photosynthesis. That says photosits. <laughs> it's close, but it's, go ahead. And that's correct. And since I said I'll give you bonus points, I won't give you any. Good job, you both got it correct. So that's 150. There may be a double point round. Okay? So just keep that in mind. 
Fourth grade questions will be for 40 points, okay? For the fourth grade, Omar, you have the choice between two categories. The first one is math. The second one is spelling. Would you like math or would you like spelling? Spelling. Spelling, okay. Spelling for 40 points. So this, what you are seeing here, is an isosceles triangle. There's the triangle for you right there, it will be shown. Now, how would you... That's my... Minus 10 points, please. Please reduct that. No more cheat. Minus 10... That's it. Minus 10 points. Tampering. Wait, how do I That's cheat? a minus 10. This is the isosceles triangle. Okay? Please. <laughs> you know what? Minus 10 for you as well. You thought it was different? No. 10 and 10. That makes you happy now. Okay, look. Spell isosceles. Let me do it again because you need the points. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. Ali, he's mocking you here. That's minus 30 points, so he's now on 70. You're on 30. I'm on 50. Yes, Allah, I'm on 50. He's on 50. 50? Yes, 50. 70, 50. This is for 40 points, remember? Spell isosceles. Listen to it. I saw, I saw, I saw, Celes. Derived from the Latin meaning of long triangle. Both locked in. Ali, I would like you to reveal your answer first. Isosceles, I S O S L I E S. Isosceles. Okay. So that says isosceles. <laughs> Let's have a look at Omar's, please. Of course. I S O S I L E S. Okay. So that's both wrong. The correct answer is I S O C E L E S. C. Okay, so no points there. Second question in grade four. Which country is known as the land of the rising sun? Is it A, China? Is it B, Korea? Is it C, Japan? Or is it D, Vietnam? That's so easy. Go ahead then. Can I, can I use my uh, lifeline? You could use your lifeline if you would like to lock it in. Put your board down, put your phone on top if it's the phone. Actually, no, no, Tell me what it is. No, no, no. There is only two more rounds left. I'm just letting you know. Um, I'm... Okay. Ali, please phone your friend. And who are you going to phone? Uh... Hello, Seth. You're live on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Please don't swear. <laughs> Ali's struggling with a question here, sir. And he needs your help. Ali. Would you please read out this question for Seth? Which country is known as the land of the rising sun? Japan, Korea, China, or Vietnam? <laughs> he said, he said it's pre he's pretty sure it's Japan. Okay. Are you happy? Are you happy? Sure. Okay, well, thank him for coming on the show today. All right, thank you, Seth. Bye. Are you locking in Japan? Is that actually one of the answers? Yeah, it is, yes. Would I you like to lock, lock in? Yes. Lock locked in Japan. Omar, please reveal your answer. China. You went with China, good job. And you went with Japan. I will reveal the correct answer is, round of applause for Seth, please, it's Japan. Good job, Seth! You're the best! I love you! I'll speak to the audience right now. I'll like to speak to the audience right now. I believe we've all done this before, where we'll speak to a friend and be like, wait, can you, can you ask that question one more time? And you're already thinking about the answer, you're looking it up or whatever it is. That's what I believe this man has done right now. He asked us to repeat it three times. And that's just like, for uh, well, one second, Omar, uh, I'm getting some word here down from the studio that he's actually being monitored by our production team, and he wasn't actually cheating. So good job. It's confirmed now. Good job, Ali. Good job, Ali. Don't worry. It'll reflect in the, in the scoring. Don't worry. You're in 70. You're in 90. Now, touching my phone may have come back to bite you here. I haven't told you about the forfeit. Let me touch it a few more times. Oh. <laughs> Do it then. Do it. Okay, so on to fifth grade. This is your grade, right? Yeah, nice one. Number one is Earth Science. Number two, look at the board. It's Earth. Oh it's God. Earth Science. Excuse me. Come on now. Earth Science okay. or World Geography? World Geography is places around the world. I'll do World Geography. Okay, that's World Geography. This is going to be for fifty points. All right, all right, sir. The question is, I need all three, all three of them. Okay. 
What are the three main layers of the earth called? Points for each correct answer. I need all three though. Oh, that boy's cooking. <laughs> excuse me? Oh my, excuse me? In my fucking classroom? Without a lifeline? Yeah, shit ain't I can't tell anyways. Take off the I promise you that'll be the last time you fucking try your eyes at that. I'm falling oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, hide, hide, because if he cheats off you, it's your fault. Wait, wait, I have a question. Go ahead. Are we counting mental? Wallahi, wallahi, you're dumb. No, no, don't say anything. You can't say that. No, no hints. Studio says. I mean, that's like better than a hit. That's just a okay, well, put it down if you're ready. Tell me when you're ready and Omar can phone his friend. Omar, Omar is now going to phone his friend, JB, for the answer. It's so it's, it's so Hopefully, he can provide him with the correct answers here. We do need three. Good evening, brother. Hello, JB. You're live on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Please do not swear. Thank you. I have Omar here with me in the studio and he's struggling on a question. Help me, JB, help. The question is from Earth Science, JB. Are you prepared? Okay. The question is, what are the three main layers of the Earth? I need all three, JB. The crust, the mantle, and the zoo. <laughs> and the zoo. And the zoo, he said? Wait, wait, what did he say? Repeat that one more time, just slow. And the zoo. Okay, that's core for those who don't speak order block. Yeah. Are you happy with that answer? I'm happy with this answer. You can go ahead, Sid. All right, JB, I had to phone a friend. Love you. I'll see you soon. JB chose the crust, the mantle, and the core. Oh, Ali, please reveal your answer. Um, you said core, not inner core, not outer core. So. He said crust, inner core, and outer core. You see, he said inner and outer. And that's wrong, brother. He's correct. <laughs> No, no, no. I have it here from the studio. The crust, the mantle, and the core. That's it. All, all points. You did get one right, though, so I'm going to give you... No, no, no. no. Ten po... That's, oh. That's, no. That's ten points for you. 15. Only ten. No, no. Only ten. My show. You take all 50. So that is 120, 110. So the second fifth grade question is... You, you might want to wipe your board here. Working out will need to be done here. So write down what I say. If a backyard is 50 feet long and 20 feet wide, how many square feet is the yard? That is 50 feet long and 20 feet wide. How many square feet is the yard? What? I saw that, bro. What happened? He's just signing him answers and shit from the crowd. The audience is One cheating. Sec. Point the camera at him! Wait, wait, wait! Yep. Yeah. The man in the second row. Good, good spot. Good spot. Thank you. We've got confirmation from this from the audience that the audience were trying to cheat for order block to get answers. Okay. <laughs> so that will be minus 20 points to order block. Please. That's a good spot. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> now please write down your answer. Remember, you both still have cheats. Yeah. <laughs> now, re now remember, it spices it up. You both have cheats. So if you think the audience cheated for him, if you think it cheated for Ali, you could both copy. Um, actually, I'm fine. Locked? Ali, come on, TikTok anytime, please. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, Omar, please reveal your answer. Okay, so that's actually smart. So the workings out we've got it. Omar, please explain, actually. The work is so, out. Over here in the right corner here, we need a simple y equals mx plus b. When you add 24 plus y, x equals y, you get cry. Right. And then you say. Oh. 50 plus 20 70 square feet. 70 square feet, good shit. <laughs> and what's your answer, please? It's Reveal. 1,000. 1,000? Bang on. Correct. 50 times. <laughs> 50 times 20. Times 20. That's a fifth grade. That was a fifth grade question. So that's 50 points to Ali. Okay, I won, right? That's GG's. Could be. Sit down, there might be a twist. We've never done this in the history of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? This is a double point round. If you win this round, you get 10 million points. Oh my God. Please name every current 
recognized planet in our solar system. Whoever has the most, just sing the Drake and Josh song. You're going to be reading them out, so you can't just write shit, by the way. Omar, how many you got there, you thinking? I don't know. I put some metamorphic rocks in here, too. <laughs> okay. Do you have metamorphic rocks or no? Yes. Okay. Okay, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Board, no, no, board down, please. This is for the winner. Board down, please, Omar. Lock in the answer. Now pick it back up and please read out what you have. Don't touch this. I have Saturn, Don't speak. Okay, I one, Jupiter, two, Uranus, three. Mars, Earth, Sun, Moon, Mercury. Right. Moon is not a planet. I just want to go over this. Moon is not a planet. So you wrote as a planet the Sun and the Moon. <laughs> Good job. It's a rock in the sky. Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, six correct. Okay. Ali, please reveal yours and read them out. Turn okay. the board so we can see. Okay. Pluto. That's not recognized currently as a planet. It's a dwarf planet, unfortunately, for you. Read them out, please. Yes. Okay. Read them out. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. That's our winner right there. That's our winner right there. Good job, Ali. He even gave you a, a dwarf planet as well. Okay, please take a seat. Ali, good job. Give me a hand. Let me raise him in victory. Good job. Now, Omar, I'm going to ask you the question before we finish. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? <laughs>